I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. We were shocked. We feel like we were lynched a little bit. We were certainly sideswiped by what happened. That's Sarah Eulis, who's on the board of directors for the sheltering tree, reacting to the Bunnell Zoning Board's decision to end the cold weather shelter that's been operating inside the First United Methodist Church for more than a decade. Eulis says their operation was wrongly characterized as a homeless shelter. We're not. It was simply providing cold weather shelter from the elements when the temperature goes below 40. People aren't staying there. In fact, they're locked in for the night, so they're not roaming around the community at large. Where can they come in? They're not homeless. Some of them are not homeless. They simply need a warm place to be. Bunnell's new community and economic development director, Rodney Lucas, says the city commission never approved the church property be used as a shelter. Yule has called the board's decision wrong and misguided. She says they're appealing and they are optimistic they'll win. There's so much work to be done. If we if they can't stay at this First United Methodist Church, well, we can certainly find another venue. I feel confident that we can and we have to because the work has to be done. Eulis says they're appealing the decision and they're optimistic they'll win. As government agencies like the Flagler County Commission, Palm Coast City Council, and the Sheriff's Office come together to address the county's homeless problem, Bunnell is moving the opposite way. Commissioners enacted the county's only anti-panhandling ordinance. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Sunwing Airlines, nonstop to Toronto, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. Following Monday's vote by the Flagler County Commission to either repair or replace Captain's Barbecue Building at Bing's Landing, John Arking reports that community members are speaking out in favor. Commissioners unanimously voted to reject a plan by the owners of Captain's Barbecue to build a new building at another location within the park, instead opting to see whether the current building can be renovated and if not, replace it entirely but keep it in the same location. Joy Ellis is president of the Hammock Community Association, which had opposed the relocation proposal for fear it would block views of the intercoastal waterway and require the removal of desired trees. I think that the commissioners took their responsibilities very seriously when faced with this very difficult decision and made a responsible decision regarding uh, how to proceed, and I am very grateful for that. We were looking to protect the park, and I think having the county responsible for a new building, if a new building is required, is the best way to proceed with this public property. County Administrator Jerry Cameron will report back to the commissioners at their June 17th meeting as to exactly how much work needs to be done. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arcane. A suspect in a Monday night traffic stop turns himself into authorities. With more, here's Tony Magoo. It was Monday night. Flagler County Sheriff's Office deputies stopped a silver mercury at the intersection of Palm Harbor Parkway and Farmsworth Drive for traveling too closely behind another vehicle. Stopping the car, deputies asked for proof of registration and valid insurance from the driver, Tylee Austin, 19 years old, and front passenger, Raheem Booker. Booker exited the vehicle so a probable cause search could be conducted, and while he was out, he began reaching into his pockets. When deputies instructed him not to do so. He then entered the vehicle and grabbed a small black backpack, intentionally struck a deputy, and then fled the traffic stop on foot. It was almost 10 o'clock later that night when Booker turned himself into the St. John's County Sheriff's Office in St. Augustine, accompanied by a bail bondsman. He was processed at the jail and released after posting an $11,000 bond. I'm glad that he decided to turn himself in, Sheriff Rick Staley said. Unfortunately, the bond was low enough that he's already back out. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. There are thousands of licensed boaters in Flagler County. That's what Palm Coast Mayor Melissa Holland says. I think there are over 4,000 registered boaters in Flagler County. There are a substantial amount of uh, residents that enjoy the water. Flagler County Deputy Jeff Turner says he and others are out on the water making sure that boat operators are licensed. If you're born after... January 1st of 1988, you're required to take a boater safety course. Turner says you can take the course online through FWC. He said that the course would teach you what you need to know to operate a boat in Florida's waterways. It actually goes into boating safety and teaches you about the markers and how to read the markers and what safety equipment you're required to have on a boat. The license that you get after passing the course is a card that says boater safety course, the date you took the course, and your personal information. You can hear the entire interview on the Free For All Friday podcast. It's at WNZF.com.
Tomorrow, staying out of trouble on the water. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.